thousand feet. Do we need to shut off the radio right there? What's up, Runners Flat? We're uh, checking out a training mask. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been looking at some of this stuff, but this will just be a preview of a training mask or our first impressions. We'll do some testing with it and give you a main review and see what we think of it, if we think it really works, what's going on. Uh, previously, my wife and I actually did own an altitude uh, chamber system for the house where it was actually kind of a, a tin over top of the bed and had a air source generator that, that basically how much oxygen it was letting inside the tent and stuff like that. So you could test it. But it's a really expensive unit. You're talking about $5,000, maybe $10,000 to get into a system like that. Uh, those are things that you really see the elite kind of pro level athletes doing. Maybe they run for Nike and Nike, you know, helps build a house and the whole house is pressurized, stuff like that. This is a chain mask. This is about $100. And so $10,000, $100, we thought we'd look into this. This training mask, you started to see NFL football players, maybe MMA fighters and stuff like that, checking this stuff out. And so I ordered one recently, <clears throat> got it from the company. Company's been real nice. Everything came in uh, through the mail really fast, and we're going to start training with it. This is the training mask 2.0, and what it comes with is a mask. It's size, so I got a small. I don't have a real big head, so uh, Velcro closure on the back. There you go comes with a, a strap that hooks into these ear pieces and then sets over the head so that if you feel like it's bouncing around at all you can use that and then it also comes with different pieces for these valves and essentially what happens is these valves the side is your your intake airflow and the middle is your expiration of air and so what they say here is that you can set it up for 3,000 feet 6,000 feet 9,000 and 12,000 what you're doing just basically decreases how easy it is to get air in inside and and exhale and so it's really going to work the lungs to become more and more efficient they can't say to you that uh, we're setting this up so there's so many uh, particles of oxygen in the air to really tell you what the amount of feed is that you would be living at that this is a neoprene mass there's going to be some leakage out here it's not a sealed system and so they can't tell you that oh this is exactly like training at 6,000 feet. But what they can tell you is it's going to decrease how easy it is to get oxygen inside here or how hard it is to exhale oxygen through the center. And when you have that difficulty increased, it starts to increase the strength of your cardio system. And so what they can say is that there will be training effects similar to altitude training by using a training mask. You're going to strengthen your diaphragm, you strengthen how well your lungs work, how how well they do to suck in oxygen, how powerful they are to work and get you the oxygen you need. And so you train with this, you increase efficiency inside your cardio system, and then you take it off and you should be more efficient at breathing. And hopefully that increases in your, your endurance and your cardio system. So we're going to start training with it. That's uh, the theory behind the training mask from what I understand. It also comes with a very detailed 65-page booklet. Okay, so it really goes into depth about what this is, what they're trying to do, how to use it. And so far, so good. The company's been really cool. We'll start chaining with it. We'll use it for quite a while. The, the good thing is that uh, I've lived at altitude in the past. I've also owned an altitude chamber in the past. And so I should be able to take this and uh, with some working experience, figure out at the end whether I think this baby's truly working or not. What we do know is uh, Marshawn Lynch uses it. And it works pretty well for him, so hopefully we'll have this. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully we'll have the same effect. And uh, next time you see me, I'll be in beast mode.